Hi, I'm Mark John Jeffries, and you're watching Madame Noir. I was literally a handheld baby, three weeks old, and my dad was a photographer. He was a professional photographer, and he was on the American Express campaign. And the baby that they were using got sick the last minute, so they was looking for like a small infant baby to uh, where the mother was holding the baby in the campaign and she was swiping her card, her American Express card at the ATM and showing how easy it was. So like when the baby got sick, my dad said, yo, I got a newborn, let's just use him. So he used me and his partner uh, at the time that was doing a shoot with him, he was like, you should get him into modeling. My dad was like, all right, cool. Got me with Ford Modeling Agency. That turned into commercial auditions, booked a few commercials. That turned into losing Isaiah. Isaiah? Hallie is still a queen, you know. Um, Jessica Lange is still an incredible actress. She's on American Horror Story, so of course, you know, they're, they're legends. They're living legends. They've been successful in the industry for over Hallie, about 20, 25 years. Jessica Lange, about 40, 50. She was in King Kong. That was the back in the day joint, when, when King Kong looked like the brolic dude on the corner from 135th. Like, <laughs> Be, yeah, I'd love to work with them again. Well, I would say that the transition isn't over yet. You know, I'm, I'm not an adult star yet. I'm still coming back on the forefront of, of with my career and people seeing me as an adult now with my performances and stuff. But um, I, it's always a hard tr transition because a lot of child stars never become adult actors. They get lost along the way. So I would say like one thing that I did with the foresight of my father, and my, which is my manager and my agents is I kind of took like a hiatus. After I did Notorious and Big Mama's House 3, I took about a year or two off where I was just doing like small shows and um, small parts on different shows just to like keep my face out there. And then now I'm just coming back out, you know? So um, hopefully we'll, we'll see how it works. I got about six movies coming out between this year and next year. And um, they're all more adult, you know, older, with the exception of one. There's certain things about almost every character that I played that were my favorite, you know, but it's hard to say which one was my all around favorite. If I had to just choose off the back, I would say this character that I recently played in Nerve. Um, it's a movie with Emma Roberts and Dave Franco, and uh, I played this character named Wes. I'm like the energetic comic relief. Um, my character is supposed to be openly gay, but, you know, I toned that in a more natural way. I didn't go the whole, eh, all of that stuff, you know? Um, I would say between that and probably Notorious, because I learned a lot of lessons on that set. You know, I became, I was becoming a man when I was on that set, so that always, like, takes me there. My character was one of those characters where respect went a long way for him, and, and he also had a little chip on his shoulder because of the fact that he slightly felt disrespected that everybody was downplaying the death of his brother. So like, that's, that's so me. I, I'm a big person, I'm big on respect. And no, it's not the Napoleon complex, because I'm only 5'3", y'all can't tell, I'm sitting down. But um, it's not the Napoleon complex or nothing like that. It's just like, I feel that every human being deserves a certain amount of respect until they give you a reason not to respect them. You know, so like, that's one part of the character that really ties to me and who I really am. And anybody, if you disrespected me in the past, you know that's true. So um, that, that's just how I am, you know? If I was your best friend, I want you around all the time. Best friend, girl, I want to make you mine. Best friend. I wanted to play James Brown. I'm not going to lie. I was too young, of course, but it was just, that's the, he, he's the, the inventor of hip hop. Like, he, he started it all, you know? He was talk rapping. But right now, I would say that there isn't anybody that I could think of that I would really want to play in a biopic. So if I was to do a celebrity spread, I would do like Kanye and Kim, you know? I would do uh, the Jay-Z and Beyonce's. I would do a lot of power couples because with me, it's not about shooting a celebrity, it's about shooting somebody that's gonna help grow your brand. And those are the kind of people that when you associate yourselves with them, it always does uh, a great number in a positive way for your company. Every celebrity that I did like in the past and things like that, when I met them, they either one, don't look as good in person, or two, their personalities are just crazy. And I'm the type of dude where personality is everything. Like, a woman could be beautiful as ever, but if her personality isn't right, you ugly to me. So 
Um, and I, I always had a, a weak spot for the girl that's working a nine to five, that's in school and things like that, trying to make a name for herself, you know, the regular way. So that's just what I'm tied to.